Hey everyone, it's Lara from the blog ourearlyhouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a whipped mango body butter. shared different body butters and lotions here on the YouTube channel before, but I have never used mango butter. So this one is a little new to me. I've tried it and I am absolutely in love with it. Mango butter is extremely moisturizing. It's very good for the skin. So I actually just bought this on Amazon and for this recipe, we're gonna need a half of a cup. And so I'm just going to cut this up into little chunks to make the next step go easier, which is melting it in a double boiler. Now, obviously when it's in chunks like this, it's kind of hard to measure a half of a cup, but you can kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I just kind of put it in there, fit it in, and I'm going to go with that being a half of a cup. So we're just going to put that into the double boiler. And then I'm just going to add in a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. Okay, now I'm just going to turn this on medium to high heat. And I'm going to let these ingredients melt together and then I will remove it from the heat, add a couple more things, and then we're going to whip it up with a hand mixer. After all the ingredients were melted, I actually placed this bowl in the freezer to let this set up a bit. Now we don't want it to be rock salad hard. We just want it to be set up so whenever we whip it, it gets the right temperature or the right texture rather. So when you stick your thumb into it, it should be able to hold the mold of your thumb, but you should be able to push it in pretty easily. So we are going to add in a quarter of a cup of sweet almond oil. And then I'm going to add in a tablespoon of air root powder. Now adding in this air root powder is going to help to make this whipped body butter less greasy. So after you get all your ingredients in, you are going to whip it with a hand mixer and then we will just store this in a glass mason jar and it will be ready for use. So I totally forgot to mention that you can add essential oils into this. I have some lavender here because that's my favorite oil for the skin. I also have some other blends over on my blog if you want to check out some different blends to use. So I'm just adding about 10 drops of essential oils in here and then I'm going to blend it again. Now you would typically add this in when you added in the sweet almond oil and the air root, but because I forgot, I added it now and I'm just going to whip it one more time. And you will notice that this stuff is going to thicken as it sits and that's normal. You can leave this out at room temperature and this will last up to a year. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by Art Really House. Mm -hmm.